So um, this is a video tutorial on how to make a robot to walk. So I'm just going to show you uh, how you can start with swinging and then moving onward to walking. So this is my modified version of the Bioloid and uh, it's been modified. So start with uh, basic swinging left and right. So you can see the center of gravity is uh, onto the foot. Um, so this might look easy, but trying to get the rhythm correct is quite difficult. And I do notice that if you try to slow down too much, the, the surface jitters because uh, that's the way the controllers work. Okay. And here's a bit of a turning left and right that you can use for later. And again, this might look easy, but if you get the foot uneven, then the robot will pop up and down. Okay, now to the next thing to do is to lift the knees. So after you shift up left and right, you shift left and right with the knees up. Now you do notice that the center of gravity is all the way to the foot. So even if you stop the robot, it will not fall down. So now you start, you put it all together and you start walking. This is a slow version. It's doing quite steady, quite well. Now this is the medium speed. This basically you increase the speed in uh, motion plus, but then you also need to modify it a little bit. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, and here is how you can do it. So you first shift the center of gravity all the way to the right. As you can see the center is all the way in the middle of the right foot. So even if you lift your right left foot, it does not fall down. And then the third step is to put it forward and then you shift the, the body weight to the left and forward at the same time but I, I, what I do is I have two foot uh, even and then I drag the right foot back that's how I program it and then you basically repeat the same thing which is to lift the right foot up and as you notice whenever you, you lift the foot up it is in a straight line so you do not put the foot forward and make the robot fall, fall forward and so on and then you put the foot forward again and then again now you shift the center of the body weight to the right and forward at the same time this will push the robot forward and then okay so whenever you lift the foot and put it forward you try to do an arc shape this will um, main, help you to uh, kind of Get the oscillation right uh, mathematically and then again here you, you, you repeat the same thing so um, so if here you fall down because um, but it's okay because when you move faster it, it, it what before it falls down the foot will be on the, on the ground okay now how do you make it go faster uh, you basically change the speed in robot motion to make it things every frame go faster but then in uh, here, when, uh, if you make it feel fast, it will swing to, to the right like this very quickly and it will make the robot off balance. So instead, you uh, keep the center of gravity a bit more to the left. That's for the first frame. For the second frame, you maintain that still. So you don't change the second frame. The first frame, you, you reduce it to the left. And then similarly, uh, swing back, you also reduce the, the, the center of gravity not so much to the right. And then finally you have um, an end motion that put the, everything together. And here is just a little bit of like, walking on different surfaces trying to test it out. I, I do notice that it's pretty good, it walks on wires and it's okay, but I do have a big, my robot do have, do have a big foot to the limit of its height. So it works on the works on the mouse su surface and doesn't fall down. So uh, okay, now let's walk faster. Let's see if that works. Again on the mouse surface. Okay, so you see one foot on the mat, one foot's not and off the table. But you know if there's a table, maybe it doesn't fall down. Let's try again. 
the jiggle, swap, initialize, and the loop, the fast loop. And one foot on half the map, and uh, almost fall down. Well, finally falls down. Yeah, and, and please do try it out. Let me know how it, how it goes. Uh, post a video, let me see it. Send me a message if you got any question, and if I'm not doing it perfect, please give me some tips. I'm still improving. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.